so for today's video we're going to be doing a look for for the pure and raw beauty christy collection so i have the palette and then i have both sets of lashes so i've already done three looks so i'll link them in the eye and down below and stuff so you can go and check them out um that's playing with the color side so now we're going to play with the neutral side so this is going to be the first of the two neutral looks and then the last two so it's going to be neutral, neutral, and then the last two are going to be neutral and colour, so we can like mix the sides up and stuff, so you can get a sort of different look if you wanted to using both sides, rather than just sticking to one. So that's what we're going to do, but today is uh, neutral. I did already try to do this look, but it just was not happening. Like I looked back at it, and I'm like, do you know I'm just not happy with something? And I've been like that with makeup lately, like I just do it, and I'm just like, no, nope, don't like it. So I'm going to sit down and we're really going to put it to the test today. Like we're going to take our time and it's going to come out good. And if it doesn't, I'm going to scream. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the neutral side you can tell because she does this rose gold. So obviously it's rose gold and you flip it open. And this is the neutral bit. Um, look one will have all the swatches and all that stuff in it. So you can go and check that video out if you want to see swatches and stuff. And then obviously the... Um, What's this side? Holographic is like the colourful side. So yeah, I do, I've said it before, I do really love that touch. I think it's like really cute and just then you know what side you're looking at. So I'm going to zoom you in so we can get a good old look at my eyes and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've already done brows, brow highlight, prime the eyelids and I've stuck some tape down because we're going to do a wing today as well using an eyeliner. So we're going to start off by taking copper, which is this shade. No, it's not. I'm thinking of the one down below. It's Camelot, sorry, which is the like mustardy shade. I'm going to take it on the Spectrum B06. And we're going to run that through the crease. Then I'm just going to buff that out. So I'm going to take the Crown Brush C429. Just make sure it's nice and blended. And make sure it's going out towards the tape as well. So now I'm going to take Copper Box, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to take it on a Spectrum A07, and I'm just going to take a very light double of this, and then just run that through the socket, then just buff that out to make sure it's blending in with the mustardy shade. I don't want an awful lot, I just want to add a little bit more sort of brownie colour into it then I'm gonna go down another shade and take B um yeah I feel like yeah I was gonna take you're not my real dad but I feel like these are like very like that same sort of tone whereas you're not my real dad so very like dark maybe too dark we'll see I'm gonna add a little bit of B first and I'm gonna take that on a crown brush C528 and just take this on the outer corner so just really patting it on at first so make sure it goes out towards the tape as well just sort of and then we can sort of just buff that out only taking about halfway because we're gonna cut the crease as well then we can go ahead and buff with the crown brush again. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm just going to take this Collection Perfecting Lasting Concealer. This is in Fair One, but I'm pretty sure they've changed the names now because they've got more and stuff. But um, I don't particularly love this concealer. Um, for one, I think it's completely the wrong shade for me. It's like way too pink. Um, so yeah, just use any concealer you want to use. You can use the concealer that you're going to use on your eyes, you can use your eye base, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to take it on a Peaches and Cream PC51 brush. So it's a really nice flat brush. Um, so I'm just going to load up with concealer. See, like it just goes really flat. It's really, really nice. So I'm just going to place a little bit down. Look up. Sometimes you've got to place it the right way. There we go. If you can see where that line is, that's where we're going to cut our crease to. So what I like to do is I like to just almost pat and swipe. So it's like this. 
line that we're creating it's so much easier than trying to draw it in when i get to the outer bit i might draw it in a little bit but yeah you can just sort of take it and push it like this oh i'm dribbling <laughs> oh no i've looked up too much yeah the only issue is obviously i've looked up you can see like the concealer's gone way above my actual crease um yeah so if you're going to do this don't start laughing or looking at your phone or whatever if you've got like hooded lids so when i get to the outer corner I literally just take the brush and just pull it down so we have this and then we can just go ahead and tidy up and say like you're going to move on to other iron stuff you can take a flat brush like this this is what i use to put my eyeshadow base on and you can almost just tap it in just so it's dry quicker and like this bit i take just a smaller brush make sure there's no extra product on it and you can just sort of buff that bit back through okay so now that we have that on i'm going to take my whole heart which is this shade right here you could go for golden ticket if you wanted something more glittery but because i've got like a glitter going on top i think i'm gonna leave it so i'm gonna take it on a crown brush this is a c511 and it's like big and fluffy because i want it to be not so opaque if that makes sense because when i go in with like a small brush for like i would with the shimmer it they don't come out right um so you're better off using something fluffy and just sort of sweeping over it then we can go ahead and blend i'm trying to find the brush that i want to blend with this one so this is a crown brush c528 and we just go back and forth there's no extra product on this you can add um color if you want to after because you feel like you need to um but at the minute we're just buffing so I will take just a dabble of B, just to go through the bigger crown brush as well. Just do what you've got to do to get to achieve how you like it. If you can tell, like this side's like blended, so you can see like it's diffused here, whereas this one looks like we've just put concealer down. So it's just all about getting that product through okay so now i'm going to do a winged eyeliner before i go and add the glitter i think i like how this looks with the winged eyeliner so we're gonna do it we're gonna do it take deep breaths before we do it <laughs> so i'm gonna take the inglot and this is the gel eyeliner so this is in the shade 77 it's just black it's just they call it 77 and i'm gonna take it on a sigma eo6 brush this is very fine um eyeliner brush this is like perfect um, so I'm just going to do some wings. You probably won't see much of this because I cannot do winged eyeliner. So why am I doing it today? Don't know. Okay, so eyeliner is on and I think we're pretty even. This one might be a little bit thicker than this one, but I'm not going to touch it anymore because otherwise this one will end up up here and this one will end up up here. So, and now we're going to go ahead and add some liner. So, this is the um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. It's just this nice, pretty gold. I feel like with this look, you could add any colour. You could add blue, purple, green, whatever you wanted. And it'd be really, really pretty. So, I'm going to take it on this thin brush. So, this is a nail art brush. You can get these absolutely anywhere. Um, it's just a little bit more easier to control than this for me. Um, so, yes, I'm just going to take it on this brush. So we're going to take it on the top of the cut crease line. So I'm just going to go ahead and attempt to do this. I do just wait for this to dry before I start moving my eye back. Obviously I did take the tape away by the way but I'll just clean up any of the mess after. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously do this other eye but I'm going to apply lashes, clean up all my stuff, put my base on, my lips on, all of that stuff, come back and then I'll finish the lower lash line for you. So I'm going to take Can't Be Bothered today because I feel like we've got this very dramatic 
dramatic eye and I feel like these are more dramatic than lovely and I actually prefer these ones over lovely so I'm going to do that off camera like I said and I'll be back so all of my face products are on everything will be listed in the bottom bar literally full face lips everything I do love this lip combo in a minute though so I'm going to take B again from the palette and I'm going to take the only camera C528 and just run that along the bottom lash line. Keeping it quite close. Then on the Spectrum B06, I'm going to take Copper Box and Camelot and just mix those together and then just finish that off on the lower lash line, just buffing it out. Extend it out past the wing if you like a bit as well, just so it sort of blends into one. Then I'm just going to take my highlighter that I took on my face and literally just take my finger and just put a little bit of that on the inner corners. And just, just finish it up with some, some <laughs> what? Then just, then just to finish it up with some mascara. So this is the KVD Go Big or Go Home. So I'm just going to put that on the top and bottom, but you're going to see none of this. You're literally going to see the top of my head. Okay, so this is the completed look. I love how it turned out. I just think it's super pretty. It's just this really nice, typical glam look I feel like. Like that half cut crease, a little bit of glitter. Um, if it looks like I've got a bit of red on my glitter, it's because I had red lipstick on the brush. Cleaned it, obviously didn't clean it well enough, so the red has gone on there. But, I mean, red glitter would look really nice as well with this look, I'm just saying. Um, so, yes, don't forget to subscribe and come back tomorrow because, obviously, there's going to be another look. And then, obviously, we'll do another two looks as well using the colourful side and the... Um, neutral side i've got one look in mind but i've just got to think of another one but uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video okay.